Hi guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today we're gonna make a top speed build on the new Koenigsegg Agera RS. Finally it's in the game, the fastest production car in the world and we're gonna see how fast it can go in the game. This might be a different story but I used to do quite a lot of top speed builds in older Forza games. This is actually what I started my channel with so yeah, we should be we should be able to build quite a fast Koenigsegg Agera RS. Okay, so let's go. I am pumped to upgrade this beast of a car. I mean, think about it. Upgrading a Koenigsegg Agera RS. That sounds weird. It's not a car you're supposed to upgrade. It's pretty much the ultimate car from the beginning. But we're going to see what we can do. Now, we're not going to all-wheel drive swap it because while it does increase the top speed of some older cars, for example, the Jaguar D-Type, it wouldn't help a Koenigsegg Agera RS, it just makes it heavier. However, we are gonna upgrade to drag tires, because from my experience in Forza Horizon 4 and doing various top speed builds already, it's a bit more tricky to pull off a top speed run on those tires, but it's gonna be faster, so we're gonna equip them. Now, we are also gonna upgrade the tire size on both front and rear. Now, I would agree this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in real life, but it does help in the game, so we're gonna do it. Um, there aren't any lighter rims, However, we can change the track width. Again, probably not helpful in real life, but it does increase the handling ability of your car in Forza Horizon 4 a slight bit, and it doesn't decrease the top speed. So we're gonna equip it, and it looks kind of cool, <laughs> in my opinion, as, you know, it's a cool new feature in Forza Horizon 4. We are gonna upgrade the clutch, and we are gonna upgrade the gearbox as well. In this car, we keep our seven gears, which is important for our top speed run, and this is the next big thing you want to upgrade to the off-road suspension or the rally suspension in this game. A little bit heavier than the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, however, we can make it lighter, quite a bit actually, 127 kilograms. Now, we do want to bump up the tire pressure just a tiny, tiny bit. It helps a little bit, it doesn't decrease the handling abilities too much, but it makes the car a slight bit faster, it does, in the game. Don't pay too much attention to that number, however, if that number goes up when tuning the car, the car is usually going to be faster. So that's kind of the tendency in the Forza games. Aero is already all the way down, so that's good. Now springs. This is a bit of a weird one, but this is how Forza works. You want to equip the highest possible suspension and go all the way down at the rear and keep it high at the front. Make it slightly less negative, around about there. Are you going to use 6 gears or are you going to use 7 gears? It's always a bit of a trade-off, um, but yeah, I think we're going to go with the 7 gears for now. We're gonna go, what, what can we get? 455, 456.2, 456.3. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna reach that top speed or, I mean, we could go even faster, but usually if that number goes up, that's not too bad. So yeah, if you wanna have a go at that setup as well, um, just search for top speed, best for speed, and monkey Agera RS, and you will find my tune. I will be updating it, I will be making it even better and even faster, so yeah. Um, go give it a shot if you want. It's so ready for a top speed run. I'm ready for a top speed run. Oh boy, here we go, okay. Ooh, it sounds good. Ooh, look at it. Oh, it's just such a beast. Oh, look at the way it picks up speed as well. There's not much left in terms of turning now with the drag tires and minimum downforce. This could be a tricky top speed run, you know? <laughs> this could be tricky. I mean, the way this thing picks up speed is just insane. Like, I'm gonna do a full-on comparison between the Chiron, this, and the Koenigsegg Regera, I think, tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that one. But yeah, I think this is gonna... This is gonna annihilate the Chiron, and I think it's gonna annihilate the Regera as well. 300 already. Oh boy! <laughs> this is fast. This is like, this is seriously fast. What's going on there? Anyway. I'm not sure about the turbo noise. That's not really a turbo noise, is it? That's more of a supercharger whine. Yeah, not sure about the noise. I think they could have done a better job on that one. But I think it's time to head to the motorway. Those bends could potentially finish you. So we're gonna be careful. We're gonna lift off the throttle when we are there. I'm so glad this is finally in the game. I know it's very similar to a Koenigsegg 1 to 1 and similar to an Agera, but still. To have the fastest production car in the world in an open world racing game like Forza, that is pretty cool. That sort of speed is addictive, you just want to go faster and faster and then like there's a corner eventually, but yeah, that's... Ooh, give me the keys to that car in real life. Oh, look at it. Okay, so we're gonna go for our very first top speed run. Now again, this could be difficult, uh, considering there's quite a lot of traffic on the motorway. 
I just wanna, I just wanna test it out real quick. See how fast we can go. I reckon 450. I mean, if we can go 450, it's already the fastest cutting attack in the game and one of the fastest cars in the game. So yeah, 450 is the target for now. Up to 400. And, oh, I can look at the speed. Oh, oh, there's traffic. Oh no. Oh no, we're not gonna make that corner. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pull a cheeky rewind here. There's now a straight bit of road, a tunnel as well. Come on, Koenigsegg. Come on, Koenigsegg. It's not really going up anymore. That's kind of concerning. 441. Oh. And we just ran out of road. Okay, so that really wasn't the perfect top speed run. There were loads of mistakes. And yeah, sloppy driving on my behalf. But we're gonna try again. Gonna see how fast we can go. Um, I mean, 450. If we can hit 450, that's all I want. But it's tricky. It really is. We're gonna try again, see how fast we can go. Gonna lift off a little bit here. Oh, come on. Oh, we kept it together. Okay. Up into seventh gear. That was a close one. There's just, there's just too many cars on the road. Oh, okay, we're gonna take, we're gonna take him on the left side. Four hundred and fifty-three, four hundred and fifty-three. The new top speed record. I'm gonna rewind a little bit because I think we can still make that corner. Um. I'm gonna try. There's no way. You just lose way too much speed going through that corner. Oh my god! <laughs> what did we hit there? Okay then. I mean, we've lost our spoiler, but that's not gonna help us. I'm gonna try a few more times off camera, and if I do get a better top speed run, I'm gonna put it right here. If not, that's gonna be really awkward. Before we end this video, I'm gonna have a little go on the quarter mile with our Koenigsegg Agera RS. Now, again, it's not a drag setup, but I think we can still run sub 9 seconds on the quarter mile, which should be cool. Oh, that was a very good launch. Oh, very happy with that one. And that was fast. Surely that's sub 9 seconds. Come on. Come on, game. 8.3. And it's not even all wheel drive, it's still rear wheel drive. I mean, that just shows the power of the drag tires in Forza Horizon 4. Well, now I'm kind of tempted to make a drag build on the Koenigsegg Gera RS. Seems like it's quite a capable car. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Now, as I said in the beginning, there's going to be loads more content with the Gera RS because I think it's a really, really cool car and a really, really fast car as well. Loads more content, you know, comparing the RS to the Chiron, the Regera, the one to one and so on. But yeah, if you like this video, if you found it interesting, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And until next time, bye.